This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. With me, Florian Marku. Florian, welcome to Newcastle, the greatest city in the world. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. And you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Very relaxed this week, and you and Chris Jenkins up there, very respectful. Obviously a very credible opponent for you. This is the kind of fight we need to see you in, to see the best of you. Exactly. I think this is a fight that also the people uh, must see, to see my level and how I perform with, it, with this kind of fight. Because uh, Chris have been in the ring with many opponents, many avoid him. I didn't, and uh, the Saturday I will show how 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 I fight him. Chris has been at a good level for a long time. He's been a bit unlucky at times in his career, but we saw that win over Julius and Dongo. He admitted maybe in Dongo wasn't at his best anymore, but still a good win. How good do you think Chris is as a fighter? What do you think he does well? I think uh, the fight with Julius and Dongo, they are. Uh, both fighters, I think Julius is the, his best time gone. You know, I think uh, Chris also his best time goes. But I, I know he's a tough fight. He's a, a tough fighter. He come to fight. He come to win. But I will show that I'm a different uh, fighter from what he have faced. I'm really, really, really prepared. I have, uh, re I, I have uh, worked really hard. I came in Sheffield. I changed all my training camp, trainers, everything, you know, and I think I have found myself there. Grant Smith is often talked about as one of the most underrated trainers in the country, very highly regarded trainer by those in the trade. You've gone into camp with him, as you just mentioned. What are the main things he's kind of taught you so far? Calm, you know, to, to collect every shot, to make a, a difference, you know, not to rush things that I was doing always. I was going like nervous and rushing things. Now I'm more mature I, I can say more calm you know in my shots and I can I will show that in, in Saturday it must also be a big bonus for you being around quality fighters all the time Sonny Edwards around Dalton Smith as well it can only help you raise your level exactly we we they these guys these guys make me feel like a family there you know I I, I don't have what to say you know from the first day we are not like a, like a strangers we're like a family you know they make me feel always good and we are a team you know we help each other and I'm really happy to be there as I said, very respectful between you and Chris, so no bad words at all. In the past we have seen you and your opponents exchange words. Do you prefer it when there's a bit of a rivalry or do you prefer it like this? I don't care uh, if they, 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 they want me to, 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 to speak, to, to provoke me, they, yes, then I will turn back. But if they, respect, they are respectful on me, I don't have what to say about them. I'm not an idiot you know, to, take, to talk bad to someone that's talking good to me. Chris was respectful all the time with me, talking good. I know he will come to fight. I will go to fight. I know he's not scared if I say something bad to him. We go to fight and that's, that's all, you know. I'm happy that he accepted the fight and this is my time to prove that how good I am. You said we can expect over a thousand Albanians in Newcastle. Albanians, like the, the Geordies up here, the Newcastle people, they're known for being very passionate people. Should be a hell of an atmosphere when you walk to that ring. 100%, 100%. I told them all to bring the Albanian flags with them and I think it will be nice, it will be beautiful. All being well, if you beat Chris Jenkins this weekend, who do you want? I know Chris Congo is going to be ringside. That Sky have got a few fighters they could match you with. Any preference? I don't want to talk about no one. Uh, we finish the job on Saturday. That's then the, my focus, and then we discuss for every other opponent. But I don't underestimate no one. The focus is on Chris Jenkins, and then we go from there. One fight I want to get your thoughts on before I let you go, Florian. You mentioned Nigel Ben's son up there, as you put it, Connor Ben fighting Chris Van Heerden. What do you make of that as a matchup? Uh, Connor, he's uh, he's uh, performing well. He's training well, and he's doing very good. You know, I don't have something bad to say about uh, about about that. Congratulations to him. You know, he's putting the work. He's performing good, and that's all. If I want to beat him, if I want to fight him, of course, I want to fight every welterweight, the best welterweights in the division. You know, that's all. Connor's one of many exciting names that could lie ahead for you in the future. One I heard Ben Shalom talking about was Amir Khan in Albania. Talk to me about that. <laughs> You will hear many things, but first we finish the job on Saturday and then we have some big plans. But our focus is only on Chris Jenkins and what uh, will happen that night. Florian, I'm going to leave the final word to you. I'm going to pull this back a bit and you can, you can show us your sponsors and give them a quick thank you before I let you go as well. Thank you, my uh, Altar, my Vispayo, Payo Construction and Elite Gains and Diamond Nest and Steel CDG. <laughs> yes. Florian, thank you very much for seeing the Boxing Social.